right, one thing I forgot after I came back, I was like, well, shit, I didn't even put the air stones in. So, um, I went ahead and got them in. And basically what I do is uh, that's just a regular old air hose. And I like to put my hole right there in the corner, corner of the bucket, because I have to lift my lids up. And I've seen other people put the the air hose in the top of the fucking bucket, and I don't understand why they do that. It don't make sense to me, but um, anyway, they do it. So I guess you could disconnect the air hose and um, lift the lid up. That's just retarded. I uh, all I do is just put the put a little drill bit, put a little hole, and it's like really tight. I make it nice and tight so there's no. Uh, there's no um, light leaks in the corner of the bucket. Um, so yeah, I use these air pumps. I believe that's a 70. I think it's a Hydro Farm, 70 liters. Um, anyway, I got 47 gallons and I'm running about 90 watts. So I'm running a little bit extra. And you can see I'm moving a lot of air and I'm good with that. I mean, I don't have any complaints, no problems. I'm moving a lot of air, so basically I got them filled up. I got no leaks, none. Um, so yeah, I'm about to bring these plants in here now. I got the uh, nutrients all mixed in. I use a general hydroponics three, uh, two part. I use a Flora Nova. Um, I think I'm gonna experiment with a different one. I've been looking at it. It's like planet some shit, green planet or something. I don't know, some crap. But. Uh, the guy I was talking to swears by it, so I'm going to try that with the other ones in the other room, the bedroom. So yeah, I got a, uh, I got another veg set up that I use, so I just basically just take those plants. The buckets are all the same size, so I just lift the whole plant up and just bring the whole lid in here and just set it right down in there. And one thing you definitely want to do when you do that is make sure the pH is right. You don't want to pH shock the roots, so you don't want to bring... Um, plants from water that's like 5.7 or 6.1 and then bring them into a room and set them in another bucket that's like four points off or you're gonna shock the roots and they're gonna start turning funky on you so you always want to make sure you don't want to shock your roots you don't want to go from like 5 point or 6.0 or 6.2 down to like 5.6 within a matter of like 30 minutes you just don't want to do that um, some people say you can do it some people rinse their roots off with tap water I don't fucking get it. But anyway, um, yeah, I've seen roots turn to shit within 24 hours by doing that. And like I said, those are some of the mistakes that I made in the past that I've learned from. And, um, you know, that's that's part of learning is uh, making mistakes. You can't just keep trying to do the same shit over and over expecting a different result. It don't work like that. So uh, I like to make one mistake, and if it happens, then I learn from it, and I don't do it again. So anyway, so yeah, this is it. It's all built. I got both air pumps. I just, um, when I built this building, I got a 30 amp line, which is a black. That's what my water chillers are all hooked into. And then I got another one that's next to it. And that's a, um, and that's a 15 amp and that's on a GFI. So that, that runs to the air pumps. I've never had a water, water leak or a failure. So, uh, I don't, really don't stress on it. I don't anticipate it. I mean, this is a pretty low pressure system. I don't really see where a failure could, could come around the only thing that I could see would be a failure would be the uh, the top off valve that I've already put in here and um, for some reason that got stuck or hung then I suppose the system would overflow but it, it would only overflow out from the top off reservoir so once that empty then that would be it so so yeah that's it I got everything hooked up got the air stones in there I haven't done this side yet because I'm going to take the air stones out of the other buckets. So I've only done, I'm going to start moving plants. And then I'll take those air stones out and then bring them and put them in there. So yeah. Also, I do want to say this. When you cut your hoses for the air stones, make sure you cut them all identical. So figure out what your longest one is from there to the manifold on the air pump. And then whichever one your longest one is, and then you want to make all the other hoses exactly the same. If you don't do that, you're going to get an uneven airflow. So you'll have like one stone will be put um, will be pushing a little bit extra than the other ones. You know what I mean? So you want to make sure all those airlines are exactly the same size. And uh, ask me how I know because I did it before and I noticed that one or two buckets had a little bit. Uh, I actually noticed the plants were looking kind of fucked up. 
you know, they were kind of drooping. They looked like a, like an overwatered plant. And I knew right there was an air, air issue. And it, it didn't happen right away. See, what happens is, is if you don't have enough air pressure on that stone, it'll collect like whatever sediment or whatever, you know what I mean? Shit will start growing on it or whatever. And um, then that clogs it up. So as long as they're all moving at the same rate, they'll all stay like that. So that's important. Um, so yeah, that's it on this system. It's good to go. I'm gonna bring the plants in here. I'm gonna drop this scrub down. See, I got these scrubs up on poles. See, I just lift them up whenever I'm done with them and then I can just drop them back down. And this system never changes. So yeah, um, that's pretty much that. So I'm gonna bring the plants in here and I'll put them all in the buckets. I'm gonna bring the scrub down and try to work it in and then I gotta put, put the lights up. Um, so yeah, that's it. So uh, yeah, you can see the uh, water, water's running in here. I think that right there adds a little bit of dissolved oxygen to the system, but I don't, I don't know how much. I couldn't turn my air stones off. My plants would go to shit. I've tried it. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you can run without air stones. Yeah, it'll work good. And I turn the air stones off. Two days later, my fucking plants look like uh, hammered shit. So I had to cut them back on. So no, that's not enough dissolved oxygen. Some people can pull it off, I guess, but you know, it's all about uh, balance. You know, lights. Um, I, I mean, I push my plants to the limits. You know, I mean, I give them a lot of light. I fucking, I bump the PPM up. I mean, I push them hard. And that's what, if, if I didn't want to do that, then I'd probably go back to dirt. If I just wanted to, you know, use a couple hundred watts of light and um but i don't i like i like to get get you know big shit that's what i like right there yeah if i can't if i can't get them like that then i'm not even gonna bother so um so yeah that's it that's it on this system it's all built no leaks everything's perfect uh water temperature's dropping over there yeah it's down to 69 now it was 71 a little while ago so yeah um and then once i get the plants in here Get the plants in and get the scrog down. I'll go ahead and wrap the um, buckets with the insulation. And then that's it, man. All I got to do is just feed them and watch them grow. So uh, these plants are going to get flipped to flower today. So, so yeah, that's it.